Hey guys, Joe here from Direct Music 94, and uh, I'm going to be doing the sound overview from a video I just put out, uh, which is a Gears of War 2 remix. And so let's get started. Now to start, uh, the song is just based off of the um, the sounds from the actual original theme, which if we look at up here. Uh, I just chopped them up. I actually time stretched them to 174 because drum step is generally at 174 beats per minute. So if I play this right here, let's jump around. It's just the original sound, the original soundtrack's um, theme, basically. Um, so what I did was I took the main section from the song, the main melody right here and I put drums under it and a bass sound so let's listen to that here so again it's just the main theme with uh, a drum sound here and the bass sound so if we play that The drum sounds is actually from uh, Led Zeppelin, When the Levee Breaks. A very common drum sound that's used in a lot of songs. But you know, it's like that big booming drum sound that I wanted in the beginning. So I chopped that up, I added a crash cymbal. Very simple, you know. But uh, So let's go to the first drop. Um, over here it has one kick drum uh, and a little loop of or a little chop of the actual uh, first note with a delay on it and then the kick drum with the same delay uh, and then that's that's right before the drop what I did was I took the uh, the vocal I used for the drop which is right here a parting gift and I put a reverb on it and I bounced the reverb tail out and reversed it so it had a um a reverse reverb basically a parting gift kinda adds another dimension to it you know fills out right before the drop a parting gift now um we'll start with the drums on this part um I actually made these sounds before I made the remix just I was just messing around with drum step and so to start let's actually go with the gun sounds there are a cocking and reloading sound and then a, a pistol fire with reverbs on it there's two pistols um, that I just laid over because they both sounded horrible so two together would sound a little better I guess uh, and that, it did end up sounding a little better so basically to start here I have the kick drum and the snare drum I think I overlaid another kick drum over it uh, right there and uh, so that's basically the drums I also put a aim and, aim and break that I chopped up over it. So let's talk about the bass sounds here. Okay, very simple. It's just the main bass sound and then a sub added. Which a sub is, um, if you're new to drum and bass and dubstep and drum step, and whatever, subs are generally added because. Um, in clubs, you know, the hi-fi systems there can produce really, really low frequencies, and it kind of makes you feel the sound. Um, and good headphones can too, so if you have headphones, put them on. So basically, the main bass sound is made up of the scrapyard waveform and the sync waveform. Those are the only two ones that are actually making any sort of noise. So I'll solo scrapyard. That's mostly the body of the sound. 
It's run through a low pass filter and the low pass filter is modulated by the LFO. Very simple. The sync sound is also routed through that low pass filter. It provides the the more melodic part of it, which is not very melodic in the first place, but kind of nasty to hear by itself, but once in with the regular bass sound sounds good. Uh, on most sounds, you add Teletube and Dimension Expander, and then you clip them. Or you don't actually usually clip them, but I did on this one. Uh, and then the sub sound is just generally just a sine wave. I put a little distortion on it. Very simple. Uh, so now let's look at the second uh, build up, I guess you call it, or orchestra part. There is the uh, the standard stuff, but I added a solo that I played in. I basically figured out the scale, you know, it was a C minor, and I just you know soloed over it on my keyboard and then edited it to make it sound good. That's basically all that is. Now, if we look at the second drop, it is basically this. <laughs> Okay, so same thing as the first one, except that the sounds changed. That's it. Okay, so the second bass sounds made probably even simpler than the uh, first. It's just the frozen waveform and a, a square waveform with the formant um, option set, and then an envelope modulating the formant option. And that's basically the sound. It's so so simple. It's almost silly. That simple. So that's all there is to the song. Um, I will give download links uh, to the massive presets um, once this video gets 50 likes. Um, and yeah, any feel free to request any tutorials either on my page or on on this page. And um, I'll see if I can get around to them. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.